Hello everyone, let's take a look at how to recreate this within Real Engine from any video. I'm guessing you're listening to me, so I'm gonna mute. There we go. So, any video, literally any video. We're gonna go through that. We did that before in the previous tutorial with a webcam recorded video. This is recorded in a phone. Any phone, any video, any download from the internet, from any video on facial expressions. Obviously, the better the quality uh, the better the um, quality of the animation. But let's actually go through this and do everything in Engine because in the previous tutorial, we actually went into After Effects, but there's a new discovery. We can now go to Tools and Ingest Server. You just need to launch it. It's going to be the Capture Manager server. So you just launch it and that's it. And then you go into the Live Link Hub. And let's go and take a look at the Live Link Hub. It's going to enable a new little window from Unreal. And this is what we get. Now in this new window, we are going to go to the top left and move from Live Data into Capture Manager. Once we are in the Capture Manager, we need to go to Add Device. And in Add Device, we're going to choose Mono Video Ingest. Once we chose Mono Video Ingest, we can click on it and we can tell it where do we want it to look for videos in our computer. So in this case, I'm going to choose my direction here and I am going to put it here and hopefully hitting enter. Unreal will automatically detect all of the footage that we see inside. Now we notice that these ones are on the side. I'm going to choose this one in the middle. We're going to go add to queue and here in the job list, we're going to click on it and we're going to go down and take a look at all of these settings. Now, the first thing we're going to do in this particular case is rotate it clockwise 270 and that will put it upwards. And then this is where you kind of have to play around and figure out which one is best for you. So far, JPG and this uh, image pixel format like is, as is, as default, is fine for me. But you can play around with changing it to PNG or changing it to mono for the purpose of this tutorial. I did this and I think this is the best quality, at least for my result with my phone recording, right? The working directory sadly doesn't care. Even if you change this, Unreal will just default back to this value here so it doesn't really care what you tell it to do it'll do it for a second and then it won't and then it will send it back to here so we're going to hit start so we don't need to change anything else hit start we're going to have a process for a little bit and what this will do is it will create the entire process that i did in the previous tutorial manually but it will do it automatically it will create all the assets we need so now that we've we're done here the progress is 100 percent we're going to get out of that and we're going to go to control space bar and find in our content, we have a new folder called Capture Manager, Imports, Mono Video Ingest, and you'll see that I did the tests already with PNG and JPG, and this is ours. This is the new one we just did. We're going to go in, and we get three files, the capture data, the media, and the audio, which is great because it's bringing the audio already in. In the media source, it's being fed into the capture data. The last thing it needs is right-click, MetaHuman, MetaHuman Performance, Live YouTube Toot performance. Hit enter. And now in the performance, as we did in the previous tutorial, we switch from input type depth to mono. And we're going to choose our new footage capture. This is our new video that I just created a second ago. We got to choose our visualization mesh. And when it changes four o'clock, we can say yes. And this is one of the problems I found with longer videos, and it's probably going to happen with every video. You need to be very mindful that the length of your adaptation here is as long as your audio. Otherwise, there's going to be desync. How do we make it longer? There's, there's no dragging here. There's nothing we can do here. This is the video. There's a problem with the video not being as long as the audio. I am unsure what the issue is, but I found a solution, which is we need to go into the media, image media source. And in here, where we have a frame rate override, it's at almost 31 frames per second. We need to send it back to 30. Once we hit save and go back to performance, you'll see that nothing happened. You need to switch off and switch on to it. And now you'll see that the video matches exactly with the audio. That means that they are almost roughly exactly. That means that the desync is going to be way lower. So from this point onwards, it's exactly the same process we did in the previous tutorial, which was going to say process. We forgot one step, which we're going to fix now. We don't want the transform track to be like this. 
we want the head movement mode to be in control ray. We don't even need to reprocess. Unreal is good enough. And we can clearly see we're just going to reprocess just in case. And there we go. Amazing. So from here, what we can do is export a level sequence. And that's going to give us this option, which is going to export the video track, the audio track, the image plane where it's going to show the video. And then down here, we just need to choose our MetaHuman Blueprint that we previously created, a MetaHuman Creator Blueprint, um, MetaHuman Creator plugin inside Unreal tutorial is coming in. Target MetaHuman class, our MetaHuman, ignore the thumbnails. Thumbnails have been broken for a while. Everything by default is perfectly fine. We create it. We're done. We just created facial animation for a MetaHuman straight out of a video. Let's go and hunt down our ingest and live. And here's our new sequencer. And we're going to go check if this is what we get. You see how the animation matches perfectly with the end of the video. Let's actually move the video to the side and let's punch in with the camera so we can check that animation. How cool is it? And we probably want to do a different focal length. Let's go for an 85 pushback. And we're experiencing that little bug there. We're going to fix that in a second. I'm just putting the camera in the correct position first. That is the focal length. We need more focus distance somewhere around there. So what we're seeing here is a little bug of this uh, sequencer. You save it, it fixes the issue. And here we are. Very, very, very good. <laughs> As I say right there. Very good. Massive, massive game changer. So we in this tutorial went over how to do it from any video. This could be a recording from a movie. This could be everything. So make sure, obviously, that if you're using the facial expressions of an actor, you, you got to be careful with what you do with that. So in this case, it's me. But any cartoon, any other metahuman probably will get uh, the information caught on very well. So that was it. Uh, next tutorial, I am going to show how to do this with Live Link. Thank you for watching. See you next time.